Thank you, Dr. Reith, for inviting me again. So I'm going to be talking about venous mapping and reflux study, and I'd like to acknowledge uh, Don Coleman, one of my faculty, who study I'm going to be presenting. I have no disclosures. So duplex ultrasound has become the gold standard for the evaluation of venous reflux. Historically, we would uh, assess the deep venous system at the level of the common femoral vein and the uh, popliteal vein and the superficial system at the uh, saphenofemoral junction of the great saphenous vein. With the development of the American Venus Forms Venus Registry, it became clear that we needed a more complete study and we needed to standardize that study. So this is a retrospective review of all reflux studies performed from October 1st, 2010 to July 29, 2011 at our hospital-based iCalvo accredited diagnostic vascular laboratory. Our expanded imaging criteria included uh, looking for reflux at the distal external iliac, common femoral, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibial perineal and anterior tibial veins, the great saphenous vein at multiple stations, the small saphenous vein, the anterior accessory and the posterior accessory saphenous vein and perforators. Deep venous reflux was uh, defined as a valve closure time greater than one second, superficial reflux and reflux at perforators at 500 milliseconds. We asked the technologist always to determine the source of the varicosities and we performed these studies in the majority of cases in the standing position. We used the guidelines of the American Venus Forum on the care of patients with varicose veins and associated chronic venous diseases as authored by Peter Glavitsky and others. So here are our results. We had 1,091 limbs and 593 patients. 75 limbs were excluded because of previous great saphenous vein harvest, stripping, or ablation, leaving us 1,016 limbs, of which 81% showed reflux. And you can see that we had 7% of patients who had deep reflux alone. We had 29% of patients who had superficial reflux alone and 45% who had deep plus superficial, making up the 81% reflux of the total number of limbs. So 70% or 528 had traditional reflux at the saphenofemoral junction. 225 or 30% had what we uh, called accessory reflux, which meant either reflux uh, caudal to the saphenofemoral junction or separate from the saphenofemoral junction. And these are made up as shown here. 34% had reflux of the great saphenous vein caudal to the saphenofemoral junction, 9% of small saphenous vein reflux, 4% reflux at the anterior accessory saphenous vein, 1% at the posterior accessory saphenous vein, 4% in perforators, 